I will talk about adventure in crypto documenta, a text and fix for weak shooter random functions. This is a joint work with Jung Yi Chun, Jung An Kim, and Ji Sung Kim. The outline consists of background, our work, attack and fix of weak PR app, and further works. Should a random function informally looks like a random function, and it has a lot of application, HMAC, digital signature, and indistinguishability application, and block cipher ATC. And this is an important tool in the construction of cryptographic primitives. Mathematical definition, a pseudo random function is a deterministic kid function. It takes input x and produce output and key embedded inside. Pseudo random function need to be efficiently computable and its input and output behavior is computationally indistinguishable from truly random function. We will focus on a particular relaxation of pseudo random function, namely weak pseudo random function. Weak PRF is the same uh, PRF except the adversary does not get to make adaptive queries and the adversary only gets to see uniform random evaluation of the PRF. I will talk about brief status of pseudo random function. Linear Manson Nissan present a quasi polynomial time learning algorithm for learning AC0 circuit and the classic result by Kretanov give a candidate weak PRF with quasi polynomial time security. And a nice construction by Benny and Pavel shows a weak PRF which is depth 3. Now move to larger complexity class with the mode P gate where P is prime. Carmusino et al. shows that no strong PRF with better than quasi polynomial security, and Viola constructs strong PRF with quasi polynomial time security. And Akapia et al. construction gives a weak PRF candidate that can be computed in depth 3 with ACC class. In general ACC0 with general mode M gate, Bonnet proposed a weak PRF that can plausibly have exponential security. And simple extension of their construction gave a strong PRF that can be implemented by depth 3 circuit in ACC0. Our target is a weak PRF which has exponential security. The paper is Exploring Crypto Documenta. Exploring Crypto Documenta's weak PRF candidates have many contributions. First, it is a very simple construction. They only mix linear computations over different moduli. And they have low depth circuit comp complexity. They are first proposed depth two weak PRF candidates, and also they are they are first proposed depth three strong PRF candidates. And finally, they have a uh, plausibly exponential security. In the landscape of cryptography. We have these nice mathematical assumptions, but they want to make simple construction and they find modulus mixing technique by exploring crypto documenta. And now we adventure crypto documenta. This work introduced a new direct statistical attack using conditional prob probability and Applying the attack to documenters weak PRF candidates and breaking an alternative weak PRF candidates suggested parameter with exponentially many samples and also breaking a new weak PRF candidates suggested parameter with circulant matrix and exponentially many samples. 
And first, we will introduce a uh, documenter's new weak PRF candidate. Mm. Before the define weak PRF, define the map. Uh, the map is the function map that takes an embedded input and simply compute the sum module 3. And the secret key is a matrix A, which is chosen uniformly at random from M by M matrix. Uh, weak PRF is very simple. They multiply A and input X in modulo 2 and apply the function map. And they suggest parameter N is 256. Mm. They also propose alternative weak PRF candidate for two-party computation. The secret key is M bit vector and also input is M bit vector. Input X is M bit vector. Then compute inner product on input X and secret key K and then sum of modulo 2 of the result and modulo 3 of the result and, and then compute modulo 2. Uh, this is very simple construction. And also they suggest parameter and is 384. Their parameter selection is uh, based on BKW attack. BKW attack is an attack for LPM problem and this attack recommend N is 384 for 128 bit security with 2 to the power of 60 bit memory. However, a uh, BKW attack do not seem to apply to new weak PRF candidate, uh, so they recommend NES 256 with analysis of low degree rational functions. Our intuition is also very simple. We observe that weak PRF, then if inner product input X and secret K, secret key K, has 0, 1, 2, modulo 6, then weak PRF produce 0. And also, uh, if inner product X and K has 3, 4, 5 in modulo 6, then weak PRF produce 1. We think that input of weak PRF can be considered as modulo 6, but X is uniformly chosen M bit not uniform uniform in Z6 space, then it may give a statistical weakness. Assume that uh, inner product X and K is sum of X1, X2, X, mm, XH, where H is the number of ones of secret key K. Then weak PRF uh, the output of weak PRF is determined by the number of 1 out of x1, x2, xh. Our key idea is sum up combination. We define f which input n and t and it sum the combination skipped by t. When t is 2 or 3, we can easily compute the value then how about k? We can present the value of f by t's root of unity. When f is divided by 2 to the power of n, it has difference to 1 out of t. The difference is determined by the absolute value of 1 plus w out of 2, which is equal to cosine pi out of t. When t is 6, it is square root of root square root 3 out of 2. Now we will talk about our attack for alternative weak PRF candidate. Let h be the number of ones the secret key k. Then we compute conditional probability uh, element j of a vector x is 0 when the output of weak PRF is 0. Then, if uh, element j of vector k is 0, 
then element j of vector x does not affect the output of weak PRF because the output is determined by inner product of input x and secret k. Therefore, the conditional probability is one half. Now, if element j of vector k is one, uh, the conditional probability is the fraction of sum of combinations. During tedious computation, we can get the value of conditional probability and they are biased. Unfortunately, when h is 2 modulo 6, the conditional probability is exactly one half. But in this case, if we choose two elements of vector x, then we get a biased conditional probability. The difference of conditional probability and one half is similar to one out of two to the power of h.21. The secret key k is drawn uniformly at random from n bit, so we can assume h is n out of 2. Then, the difference of conditional probability and 1 half is similar to 1 out of 2 to the power of n.005. If the number of samples is larger than 2 to the power of 0.21n, we show that we can distinguish weak PRF candidate samples and uniformly random samples. Therefore, n must grow from 384 to 610 to be robust against our attack for 128-bit security with exponentially many samples. Often question, uh, if uh, the number of samples is polynomial, then prove or disprove the security of weak PRF candidate. And now, we will introduce our attack for new weak PRF candidate. We assume that A matrix A is a circulant matrix. Because a circulant matrix key size is reduced n power of 2 to the n. And this is more efficient and the secret uh, the security is considered as the same for randomly chosen A in the paper. Let A be the circular matrix and define function map that takes an n-bit input and simply compute the sum modulo 3. Let H be the number of 1 out of a base vector of matrix A. Then, we observe a new property of the number of 1. When we multiply a vector consisting of only 1 by matrix A, then the result is a vector consisting of only H because A is a circulant matrix. When we multiply a vector consists of only 1 by a vector A times X, where X is an input, then the result is h times hx, where hx is the number of 1 out of vector x. Thus, uh, if the number of 1 out of vector x is even, then a times the, num the number of 1 out of a vector a, time a times x is also even. The parity of the number of 1 out of a times x is preserved if the number of 1 out of vector x is even. And now we observe weak PRF, which is map of x times x. If we get samples who have even number of 1s, it may give statistical distance. 
the number of ones in a times x is even if hx is even. Let y be a random vector in m bit whose number of ones is even. The following conditional probability is also a fraction of sum of combinations. And the difference of conditional probability and one third is similar to 1 out of 2 to the power of 0.21n. And we need a heuristic assumption. 8 times x acts like a random vector y. If the heuristic assumption holds that, the difference of the following conditional probability and one third is similar to 1 out of 2 to the power 0.21n. We verify the assumption by experimental result. Now, let's see experimental results. We draw a trend line according to various n. The y-axis is the logarithm of a value p inverse. The logarithm trend line is almost the same as our expectation for several n. So, our assumption is valid. Then, how to fix to prevent our attack? In alternative weak PRF case, just increase the number of ones in security k. Our attack only depends on the number of ones in k. So, change the distribution of security keys, uniform distribution, to the vector whose number of ones is 305. And 384 combination 305 is large enough to prevent the brute force attack. So our fix do not have to change in. In new weak PRF case, to prevent our attack, we break the circular matrix structure. Choose two random vectors and combine half succulent matrix of random vectors. This, this fixation preserves the advantages of the circulant matrix and also prevent our attack. In our experimental results, weak PRFs have similar security when using semi-circulant matrix and random matrix. In both cases, it is significantly safer than circulant matrix. First further work is prove or disprove of the security weak PRFs when polynomially many samples are given. Our attack uses exponentially many samples, so it do not have to change parameters in practical case. But our attack only use the statistical weakness of weak PRFs. Thus, if someone combined the algebraic property and our observation, it could be a more effective attack. Second for the work is a cryptanalysis of weak PRF with full random matrix A. Since our method is limited to circular matrix, so find a who new method for full random case. Thank you for listening my presentation.